All right, so now that we're talking more with EMF and how they are with the forces, let's also consider this next question. A rectangular loop of wire is situated so that one end, height H, is between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor, oriented parallel to the field E. The other end is way outside where the field is essentially zero. What is the EMF in this loop? If the total resistances are, what is the what current flows? Explain. All right, so let's draw it out. We have a parallel plate capacitor. We have the E field running from the positive plate up. And we see that we have a, the loop being somewhat in there with the height H. All right. All right, so the EMF says that we have the closed integral E dot DL is equal to zero for all electrostatic fields. It looks as though E... Uh, well, the closed integral of E dot DL or the line integral for the EMF is equal to sigma epsilon naught, sigma over epsilon naught H, as would indeed be the case if the field were really, if the field were really just E, or excuse me, sigma over epsilon naught, inside and zero outside. But in fact, there's always a fringing field at the edges, and this is evidently just right to kill off the contribution from the left end of the loop. Thus, the current is zero.